Jars. Hugh 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 Jars. I love you, Hugh. Greetings and salutations. This is Hugh Jars. As I release this video, it's August the 12th, 2020. So if you're watching in the future, this might not be relevant. But on August the 16th, in just four days' time, there'll be a pass of the ISS over Brisbane and I believe Sydney as well. That'll be quite bright. But what's more important is that it will be a blink out observation. That is, the ISS will move into the Earth's shadow before it's set below the horizon. Now this is only possible on a globe Earth because you don't have a shadow for a flat Earth. The ISS itself is proof that the Earth is not flat, but it doesn't seem to be enough. And neither will this, of course. People believe what they want to believe rather than rely on the facts. So I'm going to film this. It's quite difficult to film the ISS. It's not very bright, especially if the moon's in the sky, which it won't be. Also, you can track it with your camera, but unfortunately, unless you have some foreground, the picture just shows as a light. You've got no idea whether it's real or not. So the way around that, as far as I'm concerned, is to take a star trail type picture, a time exposure, so that you can see where it starts in the horizon and moves across and then blinks out in this particular case. The trouble with that is you can't really do it live because by definition it, the camera's got to be open and then closed and then you've got to look at the picture after it's actually been taken. There'll always be some idiot who'll say, oh, you faked it. So what I'm going to do is take that long exposure of the ISS as it passes over on the 16th and I'm going to live stream the event so that you can see me doing it while it happens. You'll be able to see on the long exposure that it was taken as the thing passed over. I invite anyone on the east coast of Australia to do a similar observation. And if you're somewhere else, go to heavensabove.com. There's a hyphen between heavens and above. Look up the passes for the ISS over your area and see if you can do a similar experiment. However, Heavens Above tends not to accurately identify where there are blinkouts. The 10 degree setting altitude is when the ISS sets, nothing to do with its visibility at that point. For that, I go to an app called ISS Detector on my iPhone. You can download that and see where the blinkouts will occur according to your location. The thing about the ISS is that it's coming over very often, usually once a night. Not always visible every night, but you can usually see it once a week at least. And for those passes where it blinks out because of the Earth's shadow, you can prove to yourself that the Earth is a globe. Just a short one. That's all I got. I'll talk to you on the 16th. And if you miss the one on the 16th, there's another one on the 18th. So there you go. Like and subscribe if you like this video and you like what I do. Feel free to make a comment as well. And you can find me on Discord if you want to have more interactions with me. Nothing left to do but cue the corgi. You're despicable.